Hi everyone, I'm Greg. Today I thought I'd go over a quick tip, or actually a few tips, on how to use the CO meter. Hopefully by now you've at least been familiar with it, perhaps you've already started to use it. The CO meter is a great tool. It helps uh, when working with patients who are using tobacco, and even those that are using marijuana. Carbon monoxide is an unhealthy ingredient that's in a lot of things that are smoked. Uh, there's a lot of carbon monoxide in tobacco smoke, there's a lot in marijuana smoke as well. This is a meter that's made by Bedfont. There are different meters. They're made by a few different companies, but all of them typically work the same. With this model, you have to take a deep breath and hold it for 15 seconds. You blow through the tube, a result comes up. Then you, as the clinician or case manager, or case worker, can offer some insights to your clients on what the results might mean and what they might mean for treatment. This model, when you turn it on through the circle on the top, it comes on and calibrates very quickly. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm a client and I'm going to take the test on myself. So I would tell the client, uh, when you're ready, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath and hold it for 15 seconds. I'll start a timer on the machine. When it gets down to zero, you'll hear a beep. You put your mouth around the tube, make a complete seal and blow out, emptying your lungs. And then I'll tell you what the results mean. So now I'm going to take a test on myself. The results come up. Now I blew a four and you can probably see that. Now I don't smoke anything and I haven't smoked anything in quite several years. Uh, now why am I a four and not a zero? Now you may have a client who says I quit smoking a while ago. Why am I blowing a four? Shouldn't I be a zero? Well it's true that it'd be great to be a zero but sometimes there's ambient CO in the air. You know, I'm a four, I'm not a zero, I'm not worried about it. The reason why I'm a four is because when I came into work this morning, I walked by a lot of uh, vehicles that are producing carbon monoxide. Some clients may live with smokers, they're getting secondhand smoke. Uh, there's a few reasons like that. Now, if I blew a 15 to 20 parts per million, and that's what we would expect from a pack a day smoker, sometimes more if they're a menthol smoker or if they're smoking marijuana along with tobacco, but for tobacco, a pack a day smoker is going to be 15 to 20 parts per million. And I would say uh, this shows part of the impact of smoking now. With a higher carbon monoxide level, a higher carboxyhemoglobin level, you're going to have less oxygen in your system. This may be why you're winded when you walk long distances or climb flights of stairs, etc. The good news is when you quit smoking, your carbon monoxide level will begin to drop. In fact, within two to three days, all the carbon monoxide is typically gone. Now there's more room for oxygen. Your heart gets the benefits right away. This is often the first medical test that's done after someone quits smoking that shows the positives of quitting. Now, it can help us with dosing as well. If a person has a higher carbon monoxide level than expected, sometimes you'll see that when people begin to cut down on their smoking. That means they're also getting a higher amount of nicotine they may be uh, smoking the remaining cigarettes harder, taking longer, deeper drags, etc. So they might need a bigger patch than you normally would expect if their carbon monoxide level is higher. I don't want to get too long in this. I realize I'm already over four minutes, but uh, it's a great tool to be used. I encourage you all to practice it. Practice it amongst yourselves. Uh, I'll give you one more quick tip. Uh, if you're getting a higher result than expected, do a second test to make sure your meter is working properly. If you have a second carbon monoxide meter, do a test with the other meter and see if the results change at all. Do a test on yourself as well. You could even do a test with the client present. You yourself know whether or not you're a smoker. And so if you're not a smoker, you would expect a low result. If you get a low result, probably the machine's working fine. But anyhow, let me end this up by saying I think it's terrific that you're using the meter. The more you use it, the more comfortable you'll become with it. And uh, all the best. And we'll be back soon with some more tips on something else related to tobacco and smoking cessation. Take care.